Another big crowd expected today here at Gregory Gym as the Wisconsin Badgers and Texas Longhorns meet for the seventh time. Texas with the advantage in the all-time series with four wins over just two losses. But one of those losses came back in 2013 when Lauren Carlini really made headlines. And Arnell Fortner had a chance to talk to the three-time All-American setter. A lot of it has to do with being in that position as a freshman. It opens up your eyes to so many possibilities of what your college career can hold for you. Um, what kind of standards you set for yourself, what type of culture you want to build with your team and that program. And so over the years at Wisconsin, we've just built that culture. We've built that program to be national championship contenders each and every year. And we haven't made it back to the Final Four, but we've made good runs every year. And so. Um, being my senior year, of course, I want to win the national championship. That's the ultimate goal always. Um, but I also don't think it's the end all be all. I think that at some point, Wisconsin is going to win a national championship. And I think it's going to be just as special um, whether or not we are on the team or not. Yeah. You know, you've been pretty much a, a wow kind of setter since we saw you as a freshman at Wisconsin because of your technique of setting. You're a jump setter. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Thanks. But it's a really exciting kind of setter to watch. Mm -hmm. Where did you learn that? Was that natural or did you learn that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I learned most of it. Um, yeah. I started setting in club probably around my 14th year. And so um, since then, I've been almost solely focusing on setting and the skill itself and just being able to be athletic while setting and make different plays. And um, I think one thing that I try and separate myself from other setters is being able to turn those bad passes into either decently good or good passes and yeah. having options available for all hitters and so honestly I'm just trying to make other people's lives easier that's that's kind of my job as a setter and that's kind of what I take pride in um, at Wisconsin is just making other people's lives easier and giving them more options yeah. let me give you a scenario you're at you're at the net uh -huh. perfect pass has okay. come to you You've got three of your best, let's say three hitters of the best <laughs> Wisconsin all-time hitters. Okay. Are right in position to do whatever. Uh -huh. What's your perfect setting scenario and hit that happens right there? Oh, man. I, I love crossing patterns, so probably a go five dog. So a, okay. a high ball to Tell the outside. Tell us what that is. Yep. Okay, so a high <laughs> ball. Well, maybe a quicker ball on the outside. Okay. Um, a middle tempo ball in the middle and then a slide. So a quick middle ball to the pin and I'm probably set in the middle every time. I love setting my middles. Yeah. It's just they're kind of like the wow players. Um, yeah. It gets the ball to the ground quick and so yeah I think that would be my ideal situation. And in my head I'm like wow I hope someone goes up with me and that's just yeah perfect ball. Hopefully someone goes up and set in the middle every time. When you're done playing what do you want the fans and, and, the, and your former teammates and everybody to say about Lauren Carlini? Wow that's a good question. Um, Honestly, just play with so much passion. Just the one thing that I really take pride in is just being a passionate player and the passion for this game that I have. And I think I want people to feel that after and just when they step on the court, how much pride they take in playing volleyball and winning and competing. Um, having that, that just hardcore work ethic yeah. um, and just getting in the gym every day and wanting to be there and, and wanting to win for your team. So I think just the legacy of winning and just being passionate about the game and showing it, everyone that. Interesting insight to the three-time All-American from Wisconsin. Did you get the definition you wanted on go five? I got the go five part. But well, what about the dog part? The dog, what kind of dog? I think the dog was a back set. It was like a the slide or some kind of quick something to the right side. But I'm going to tell you something. She is such an impressive young woman. Absolutely. She's going to be successful no matter what she does when her playing days are over. But her passion comes shining through. Her focus, her volleyball IQ yeah. for sure. I can only imagine what a joy she's been to coach for Kelly Sheffield. Let's take a look at the setter competition.